This is Stephen Chen coming to you live from Simha Yoga Lab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment, and my handle is Simha Yoga Lab, and the four digit ID code, if you're prompted for it, is 8096. Classes are $10, and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. I stream on Instagram and on Facebook, and then the videos are downloaded onto the postings. Then those same videos are uploaded to YouTube, and my YouTube channel is Simha Yoga Lab. If you're having a shaky time with the audio video on Instagram and Facebook when you're streaming, and especially if you're not taking classes during the streaming times, when you're taking classes anytime throughout the day, you might want to go to YouTube instead. The audio video is far superior on YouTube. Also, you can pull up YouTube on your smart TV, so it gives you a much better visual audio experience and your practice might benefit from that. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, so uh, the class today is Open Flow. It is a level one and level two. For those of you who are new to my practice, welcome. Um, please keep in mind, um, I give a lot of options. If you're a little bit new to practice, please be mindful not to go too far. Pull back a little bit if I'm a little bit out of your range. Always take some modifications, or maybe even sit, skip the poses altogether and just catch up to whatever the next pose is. That is much more appropriate for your practice today. Okay, so always keep in mind, make some good choices, not to hurt yourself and not to perpetuate any injuries. All right, so if your hips are tight or your lower back are tight, please elevate onto a block, uh, blankets, books. Um, with towels, right? So those are good options. By elevation, um, you will find um, that it's a little bit easier to um, take your seated uh, position comfortably. All right, palms face up, fingers come together, we'll draw, thumb and index fingers touching. Ground evenly through your seat, sitting up tall let the shoulders broaden. Starting to center the breath. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Three arms together in the air. Elongating through the left side of the leg. 
chin toward the right shoulder. Release back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. And then the chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll back, opposite side, roll the center. Take a few more rounds in that same direction. Chin back to center again, pause. Opposite direction. And then back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and meet your spine. Coming off your blocks, extend legs forward, separate your feet. Hands supporting to your side and turn your toes toward each other. And then roll out, draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling the ankles. Back to center, switching around in rotations. And then center again, cross your shins, opposite shin on top. Raise the arms high, extend, twist to the right on the exhale. Back to center, arms up. Exhale, other side. Center again, side bends, right hand down, left arm on the head. Take back up, other side. Back to center, legs forward, forward fold. Take back up again, swing the legs back behind you, hands and knees. Inhale, draw the navel down, raise your tail, raise the back of the head. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. Excellent. Inhale, arch. Excellent. Come back to neutral spine. Walk your left hand a little bit wider, one hand bring wider, right hand bring further forward. Thread the right arm underneath, draw the right shoulder, right cheek down for the twist, threading the needle. Press into your left hand, take it back up, walk it back in. We measure your hands and knees, three more cat counts. Draw the navel down, raise your tail, raise your back leg. Exhale, round the spine, in arch. Exhale, round, in arch. Exhale, back to center. Walk your right hand, one hand print wider, one hand print further forward. Thread the left arm underneath. Threading the middle. Press into your right hand, draw back up. Take the seat back toward the heels. Right hand to support, sorry, left hand to support. Right elbow bending, right arm is parallel to the floor. Inhale, rotate your right elbow back. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, twist. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Stay here. Extend the right arm. Press into your left fingertips and twist even more. Maintain that twist. Right hand to our left leg. Pull into our left leg. Then left hand behind you to your lower back. Retract your left shoulder back. Pull against your right hand and twist even deeper. And start to release, second side. Right hand to the floor, left arm up, left arm parallel to the floor. Draw the left arm back, twist to the right. Draw the left arm back, twist to the right. Draw back, twist, stay here. Press into your right hand for resistance, 
Extend the left arm up and twist deeper. Then take the left hand to your outer right leg. Pull against your outer right leg. Draw the right shoulder back. Twist even deeper. And the right hand back behind you. So right shoulder drawn back. Left hand pulling against your outer right leg. Start to release. Back to center. Hands together in prayer. Interlace. Press forward. Round the spine. Inhale. Lift up. Round the hands back behind you, interlace, broaden the shoulders, reach your knuckles back, gently look them up. Release, hands together in prayer. Take the other interlacing of your hands, press forward, round the spine. Inhale, lift up. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace with the other thumb on top, broaden the shoulders, reach your knuckles back. Lift the heart center up and gently looking up as well. Release, hands to the floor, walk your hands forward, tuck the toes under for down dog. Pedal out the legs so you might feel some uh, pins and needles and definitely feeling for the rush of blood back to your legs coming out of that kneeling position. All right, take the hands to the floor for down dog and then shift your tiptoes and Bend your knees to parallel the floor with the shins. Lengthen out the legs, stay up on your tiptoes. Bend your knees and lengthen. Bend your knees and lengthen. Stay here, lift the tail up toward the sky. Press into your hands, draw the heart center toward the thighs. And then coming into a very high um, inverted V into a tiptoe down. Keep pressing into your hands, keep drawing the heart center toward the thighs, but this time take the heels down so the weight is really pressed back in space. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three leg down. Exhale, draw the right knee toward the nose around the spine. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Extend the right leg back up, step forward, warrior one. Inhale, let your front leg reach it up. Bend the front knee, arms along the side. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, bend the front knee, arms along the side. Inhale, take it up, keep the arms up. Bend the front knee, warrior one. Now, why don't you take the warrior one? I want you to think about leaning the hips further forwards and downwards. Really get into the hips, get into the stretch of the inner left leg. All right, and as you lunge forward deeply, the right quads are beginning to fire up. Then release your hands to the floor and lengthen over the right leg, pass forward over the right leg. Keep the right leg extended. Keep the right hand to the floor to the outside right foot. Raise your left arm up for triangle. Switch directions. Left hand comes down, right arm up to twist. Right hand back down, bend the front knee, circle it up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, breath. Exhale, push up, chaturanga. Inhale, dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Extend the left back up, step it forward, warrior one. Inhale, length the front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale up, keeping the arms up, bend the front knee, keep it more you want. So now, think about lunging the hips further forward and downward. So you're getting more stretch into your inner right thigh, right, going into the hips. Now as you lunge forward more deeply and the hips lower, your left quads will start to fire up.
Hands come down to the floor, lengthen over your left leg, and fold over the left leg. Left hand stays on the floor, right arm up to uh, take it to a triangle. So left hand is to the outside of the left foot. Right hand down, revolve it. Left arm up to twist. Left hand back down, bend the front knee. Circle it up. Reverse warrior. And then hands to your floor. Left foot, stepping back plank. In a one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Extend back up, step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Stay in warrior two. As we did in warrior one, we're just going to lunge forward a little more deeply. Forwards and down to the hips to get the inner left thigh stretch and then firing up your quads. Warrior two. Right hand comes down to the floor, left arm up, side angle. Left palm facing down, reach forward, extend its side angle. Left hand to the floor, right arm up to twist. Revolve it all the way back up. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. In our breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Extend the left back up, step left foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen front leg, reach up. Warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two. Staying here in warrior two, you're going to lunge your hips forwards and downwards to get more stretch into the inner right leg. Then as you lunge forward, getting deeper, you fire up your left quads. Side angle. Left hand inside the foot, right arm. Extend its side angle, reach your right arm forward, palms facing down. And then revolve it, right hand down, left arm up to twist. Release, circle it all the way back up. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor. Left foot stepping back plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee and toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Extend the right foot back up, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon. Right hand forward about a foot, low up to right side. If you need to use your right hand to block, take the hand to block. Step the left foot forward, start to bear the weight onto your right leg. Stack your hips and your shoulders, left arm up. Now, 
The left palm facing down and reach forward to the front of the room. Point the left toes. Flex your left foot. Point the left toes. Flex your left foot. Point. Flex. This time, point the left toes. Keep it pointed. And then reach your left foot toward the floor. You're not touching down. And then lift back up to parallel. Reach your left toes toward the floor. Lift it back up. Reach your left toes toward the floor. Lift back up. Now, flex your left foot. Same thing. Reach your left heel toward the floor and lift. Reach your left heel toward the floor and lift. One more time. Reach your left heel toward the floor and lift. Bend your left knee. Grab the left foot with your left hand. Kick your back. Japasana. If you want to take both hands to your right uh, left foot, Take both hands to your left foot for the full chakrasana. Start to release. Step it back. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back. Lower all the way down to the belly this time. Then, take the forearms down. Sphinx pose. Okay, so once you have the Sphinx pose, forearms are parallel to each other, I'll show this with. Then flex your right foot, pick up the right heel, and bend your right knee. Stay here, balance, then lift the right leg, and hold. Then lift up and down five times. Lower almost all the way down and lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift is three, lower, lift is four, lower, lift is five. Stay there. Rotate the right knee out to your side and lower and lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. One more. Lower, lift. Draw the right knee back and place your right foot down. Coming back into your sphinx. Second side. Flex your left foot, pick up the left heel, lift the left knee. Stay here to balance and hold. Lift the heel, uh, the thigh away from the floor and hold. Then lower the left knee almost all the way down and lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, four, Lift. Five. Lift. Stay there. Open up the knee to the left side. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Three. Lift. Four. Lift. Five. Lift. Rotate it back. Lower the left leg. Come back to Sphinx. And then lower all the way down. Child's pose. Walk your hands back in and draw the seat toward the heels. Take your forearms down, grab opposite elbows to measure out for your shoulders width. Alright, so we're taking a dolphin push-up type of thing, but we're working with the legs and the, and the heels instead. Alright, so take your hands into your fists, either interlacing or wrapping one hand over the other, creating a tripod. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, walk it back to the shape of forearm down or dog. Walk your feet in as close as you can, you can shift forward a little bit. Feet together, knees together. Alright, gaze is in between your forearms to the floor. Lift high up on your tiptoe, shift forward, heels back and down. In a lift, and to lower. In a lift, and to lower. In a lift, and to lower this time. In a lift, stay lifting. Reach your tail up toward the sky. Press your forearms down and resist. Press the weight back in space. But as you lift onto your tiptoes, your legs draw forward as your torso draws back, getting toward, closer and closer toward the center line, keep reaching the tail up. So it's a very active pose, lifting with the tail up. And release your heels back down, lower the knees down, take it back to child's pose, releasing the arms. Take it back to 
down and up. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left foot kicks back, step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon. So half moon, left hand forward, about a foot, low off the left side, with or without the blocks. Just repeat what you did on the first side. Step the right foot in. Tip forward, measure out for your half moon. Bearing weight mostly into your left foot, your left hand is there to help you a little bit. Alright, so once you have your half moon, right palm to face down, reach forward to the front of the room. So point right toes, flex right foot. Point, flex, point, flex. Point again, keep your right toes pointed. Then lower the right foot, almost all the way down, and then lift. Lower, and lift. Lower, and lift. Stay there, flex your right foot and lift instead this time. Lower the right heel, almost all the way down. Notice how that feels very different, lift. Lower the right heel down, and lift. Lower, right heel down. Lift, stay here, then bend in your right knee. Reach back to grab the right foot with the right hand. Chapasana. You can take the full balance, both hands to your right foot. Keep stacking, keep balancing. Then begin to step back. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor. Left foot stepping back. Lower all the way down to the belly. This time, hands alongside the ribcage, elbows drawn back, your head slightly lifted, and you're looking down toward the floor. Reach toes back, lift your thighs, and lower arms all the way down. Lift, and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. This time, lift, and stay lifted, and holding here. Now stay lifted, open up the legs, and close. Open, close, open, close, open, close, 10 times. Open, close is five, open, six, open, seven, open, eight, open, nine, open, 10. Release your legs, child's pose. Lift back up. This time it's your handstand preparation. So come back to your hands and knees. Walk your hands in. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Gaze between your hands and walk your feet in as close as you can. So do the best you can with full extension of the arms and the legs. Once you're ready, grab the palms to the floor. Come high on your tiptoes. You might even shift forward a little bit. And as you shift forward a little bit, bearing more weight into your hands, really make sure you use your fingers and the knuckles pads of the hands. And as little work to your forearm, to your wrists as possible here. So let the fingers and the pads of the hands bear a lot of the weight and share your work. As you reach your tail up, you're coming into your tiptoes as high as you can. And holding it here. And lower the heels back down. Walk your hands forward. Walk your feet back. Down dog. Let the head release. Press evenly between your hands and your feet. All right. Walk your feet forward toward your hands. Come into standing forward head. Bend your knees. Rise up. Chair pose. So. Take it relatively high. Let's call this about three quarters of the height. Right? So this is full extension, this is three quarters. Right? So from here, bend your knees so that your thighs are parallel. That's halfway. Lift up three quarters. 
Bend the knees halfway, three quarters. Halfway, three quarters. Halfway, three quarters. One more. Halfway, three quarters. Staying here. Reaching the arms. Forward, down, and back. Down, forward, and up. Forward, down, and back. Down, forward, and up. Forward, down, and back. Down, forward, and up. Stay here. Wrapping the hands right behind you into lace. Draw the shoulders back. Lifting upwards. And then lengthen your legs. Dive forward. Knuckles up and over the head. Release your hands down, slightly forward, crow pose. Knees to back the arms, shift forward, and balance. Release your feet back down. Lengthen out the legs, stay forward folding, grab the opposite elbows and just let the weight drop forward. Release your hands. With your hands on the floor, supporting the pose to come up safely out of that pose. Bend the knees, lift the back of the head and lift the back, so through a straight line, Bend your knees, rise up, chair, three quarters, right? So lengthening fully will be a full extension, keep it to three quarters. Bend your knees halfway, take it up to three quarters. Halfway down, three quarters. Halfway, three quarters. Halfway, three quarters. Halfway, three quarters. Stay here. Reach your, uh, sorry, arms forward, down, and back, down, forward, and up. Forward, down, and back, down, forward, and up. Forward, down, and back, down, forward, and up. Wrap the hands back behind you, other thumb on top. Broaden your shoulders, look up. And then lengthen out the legs, dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Release your hands. Hands come forward again. Second crow. If you have a crow into your headstand, take it. If you're not taking a crow, but you're taking the preparation, right? You keep your toes on the floor. So the key point is, if you're uh, struggling a little bit in your crow, and you can't take the feet off the floor, make sure you have about a foot and a half distance between your hands and your feet. That's with most of us, right? If you're particularly tall or particularly short, you're going to have to adjust that. If you're particularly tall, your limbs are going to be longer, right? So you might have to go two feet or even longer if you're taller. If you're shorter, you're going to have to go to one foot, right? So about a foot and a half for most of us is pretty good. Draw the arms back, knees to back the arms. So keeping the elbows bent, right? Gaze is slightly forward. Now you're going to shift the weight forward, keeping the elbows bent. When you line up your elbows over your wrist and you have a vertical line with your forearms, you're going to be on your tiptoes. Perhaps you're going to lean forward just enough that your toes get light enough to lift the feet off the floor. If you're not ready for that, right, just lean away forward and bear weight into your arms and shoulders and start to work on strengthening and working on the balancing there. Right? It gives you a lot of confidence to have, confidence to have your toes on the floor. So maybe you want to just experiment with tipping forward enough so that even you can take your feet off the floor for one second, right? That's what you're looking for. Enough of the weight shifting forward that you start to find the balance and then keep experimenting, keep elongating that time uh, that you take your feet off the floor. All right, step the feet back down. Bend the knees. Rise up, chair. Step in on the left foot, pick up the right knee. Tree pose. So for tree today, take the arms out into a T position. Do the best you can to lean the torso forward to power the floor. Now it helps for you to keep a length of your spine if it looks if you look forward slightly. That will help you lift your upper back. 
I feel for tabletop here. Your torso about parallel to the floor. Now you might not be perfectly there, but you're looking to bow forward as much as you can without bowing all the way down and staying lifted about parallel to the floor. All right. Make your way back up. Wrap the hands back behind you into lace. Draw the shoulders back. Take a heart of energy. Release your hands, stick the arms back up, draw the right knee forward, step the right foot down the chair, exhale, dive forward. Bend the knee, stepping your left foot back, crescent moon, left knee comes down. Now supporting with your hands, tuck the left toes under. We're going to shift back and forth between half split and the lunge, okay? So with your hands supporting. Shift back into the half split, so it's a right hamstring stretch. Shift forward, coming back into the lunge. Shift back, hamstring stretch, half split. Shift forward, deeper lunge. Half split, deeper lunge. Half split, deeper lunge. Half split, stay here, right hamstring stretch. Step the right foot back down, lunge forward, and really lean forward. Now keep your left toes tucked under, keep the hips leaning forward. Walk your hands to top the thighs. Keep leaning forward. Then press your hands to your thighs, hands to your thigh, and then lean up the torso back from back bend. Begin to release, hands back to the floor, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Lengthen into your right leg for your right hamstring stretch. Bend your right knee, ground the back heel, come up. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot stepping back plank. Inhale one breath, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Now start to walk your feet forward toward your hands, standing forward bend. Bend your knees, rise up chair. Now, if you have props around you, right, either move the props away or walk your feet back a little bit, okay? Shifting, stand on the right foot, step the left foot up, back to center, step the right foot up, back to center, left foot, back to center, right foot, back to center, left foot, back to center, right foot, back to center, left, back to center, right, back to center, left, back to center, right, center, chair. This time, so as if you were swimming, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. Stay here, lean forward a little bit more. Now, if you want to lengthen up the legs instead, you can do that. Or keep the knees bent and the hamstrings are tight. Same thing, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back. Swing the arms forward, come back to chair, exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Bend the knees, take the back up, chair. All right, so the first round we did it, we touch your toes down, but this time we're not touching your toes, you're just going to swing out. Center, swing out, center. Okay, so starting to step on the right foot, uh, left foot first this time and kick the right leg out first. All right, stepping on the left foot, kick the right leg out, center, left leg out, center, five rounds, right leg out, center, 
left leg up, center, right leg up, center, left leg up, center, right leg up, center, left leg up, center, right leg up, center, left leg up, center. Stay here. Right, so as if we were swimming, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. Stay here and then leaning forward, halfway and go lower and then do the same thing. Or lengthen out the legs to a tabletop. As you're ready, swim back, swim forward. Swim back, swim forward, swim back, swim forward. Bend the knees, chair, exhale, dive forward. Stay in the forward fold. And when you're ready, bend your knees. This time, step the right foot back, press the boom. Alright, I'm going to frame your hands on your side of the left foot, tuck the back toes under, so we're coming back and forth a few times. Shift back, half split, shift forward, deep lunge. Half split, deep lunge. Half split, deep lunge. Half split, deep lunge. Half split and hold. Step the left foot back down. Now keep your toes tucked under. Walk your hands to the top of the thigh and keep lunging. Then press your hands into your thighs and lean the upper torso back. Begin to release hands to the side of the left foot. And then lengthen out the left leg through your pyramid and hold it here. Bend the front knee, ground the back heel. Circle it up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Left foot, stepping back plank, inhale on breath, exhale, chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale, down dog. Walk and jump through to a seated position. Now, if you have a block, take a block. If you don't have a block, you have a blanket, roll up the blanket to like a good amount of thickness, take it to the inner thighs. If you don't have any props, your inner thighs are pressing together. If your inner thighs are pressing together, it's very tight for your hips, then keep your feet separated. All right? But legs are engaged. All right, so I am going to take the block to the inner thighs. All right? Walk your hands slightly back. Fingertips pointing forward. Draw the shoulders back. Lean back. Lift your thighs. Squeeze the block. Lift the chest. If you tend to round your spine, I want you to lift your chest, draw the shoulders back. Looking upwards, but you're not tilting the head back, but you're coming to um, a neutral spine. Excuse me, a neutral spine. Squeeze your thighs together, flex your feet. If you want to intensify, release your hands, reach your forward, and hold. Keep squeezing the blocks, extend the legs. Keep squeezing the blanket, or keep your inner thighs together and extend the legs the best you can. And still hold it. Step the feet down, tabletop, hands back behind you. Lift and squeeze. Release. Take the seat down. Take the block. 
to your feet. Or take the blankets to your feet. All right, so this time I'll take the blankets, right, just to show you the contrast. If you're not uh, using any props, your feet are together, thighs are together. Hands slightly back behind you, shift back, squeeze the blanket, or squeeze, squeeze the block. If you want to intensify, extend the arms forward. If you want to intensify, extend the legs. Release the legs all the way down. Remove your props. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward, forward. Take it back up, lower your forearms down, keep the chest lifted, keep the shoulders brought in. So your forearms are pressing down strong. Bend your knees, extend the legs up, and a diagonal. Alright, so this time we're pointing the toes. Open up the legs, take the feet toward each other. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Open up again. This time, the right leg is over, left leg is down, cross, come back to open, switch legs, left leg on top, open, right leg on top, open, left leg on top, open, right, open, left, open, right, open, left, open. Total of 10, five, open, five, open, six, open, six, Open seven, open seven, open eight, open eight, open nine, open nine, open ten, open ten. Back to center, legs together, bend your knees, slide the legs forward, arms up, and forward fold. Take it back up, pigeon in. Draw the left heel in. Swing the right leg back. Set up the pose, elongate with the spine. So you're on top of the left shin. You're angling out the left knee, left thigh to the side, 30 to 45 degrees. Elongate through the spine, make sure nice and level. And then make your way forward. You can be on your forearms, you can make pillows with the hands, your choice. Take the next bunch of breaths here. For those of you who like additional variations and want to start working on something, go ahead. Alright, you can work on binding again if you want. Same hand, same foot, mermaid one, left arm up. You can revol revolve. Mermaid one, opposite hand and foot, and twist to your left. You can take both hands to your right foot, kick back for the shoulder opener, and back bend. Right? If that is too much, hands to the floor, and just lift up for this back bend. Or just taking a very passive, quiet forward fold. Begin to take it back up, walk your hands in. Take the left seat down, swing the right leg around. You have a choice, centering your seat, take a cross leg position, and forward fold. Or if you have more hip opening, and then you have pretty strong and healthy knees and ankles, then you can take a half lotus, inhale lengthen, exhale fold. Right, so half lotus will be pretty strenuous on your right knee, right ankle. So if that's too much, come to regular cross legged. That'll be a lot easier. So I want you to find a forward fold.
Take it back up. Support your right leg, extend forward. Support the left leg, extend forward. Hands to either side, and then flex. Point, this is what helps you to flex. Point, this is what helps you to neutralize your right leg. The ankle and the joint, that's the half lotus. Could be pretty strenuous on your joints. Okay, second side, come back to neutral. Draw the right heel in. Swing the left leg back. Set up for your pigeon. You're on top of the right shin. Right knee, right thigh, angles out to the side. Walk the left and further back onto the toes. Walk your hands back. Make sure you're nice and level here. Once you set up all this and you're ready, take it forward for your pigeon. Forearms down or make pillows with the hands. And then those of you working with additional variations, right? If you took it into your um, mermaids, same hand, same foot, right arm up, and this your mermaid one, you can revolve your mermaid one, right hand to left foot, and revolve to the wind. You can take both hands, kick back with the back bend and shoulder opener. You can use your hands to floor instead. Yogi's choice.
Take back center, switch legs, switch arms, and twist to the left. Shavasana, final relaxation. Begin to draw the breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And then rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Reconnecting to an even seat, lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Enough for all. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. My preferred way of payment is through Venmo, and my handle is simhayogalab, and the four-digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for it. Classes are $10 if you're having a difficult time, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. Also, share with your friends any postings you see on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I stream on Instagram and Facebook, and then the videos are then uploaded to the postings. And then those same videos are then uploaded to my YouTube channel, which is Simha Yoga Lab. And the audio video on the YouTube channel is way better, so if you're having a shakier time with the audio video on your streaming, um, please go to YouTube instead, especially if you're not streaming with me and taking your classes anytime throughout the day, right? So you might as well go to the better visual experience. You can also pull up the video to your, um, your smart TV, right? So that is a much better experience for your practice as well. All right, thank you for your time. Be well, take care. I will see you soon.